All right, this is my new plotter. Basically, it's a Sharpie, full-size Sharpie um, pens. And this is a riser for a sprinkler um, system and the caps. And this is a stainless steel nut with a, it's a one and a half inch stainless steel quarter, one and a quarter by 20 with a lock nut, uh, one and a quarter by 20 uh, with the nylon in so that it locks in. This is a half inch cap that you'll find in the same section that you'll find this six inch riser. I cut two ends off of this, two of these sections end of this. What this does is it makes it where you can slide on a nut on it and uh, makes it easier to do that. And then this is the other cap. This has a quarter inch by a hole in the center. And this has a 7 16 inch hole here that's been uh, reamed out just a little bit. And then that's a standard Sharpie. That's it. And I'm set my zero. I'm going to run my program. And we're really thin, so we're just barely touching that paper. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and let it run at that uh, at that deal. Let's run the the laser for the logs and hit start. This is going to do the FCF logos. Hopefully, it's high enough up that you can do any drag points on it. it. Should be fairly clean because the the pin is just barely touching the end of it. And that has uh, an earplug, uh, orange earplug thing that's been washed in dish soap. And so that makes it springy. CNC nuts taught me that as well as a lot of other things. But the uh, CNC machines, I want to thank him for that. Uh, it's now petting out some logs for this uh, patch. And what I did is I burnt these patches with the laser. And while I was doing that, I started drawing some plans so while I was doing that. I was marking an old chair that I found and uh, I was a pattern, making a pattern off of it. So I thought it might be handy to be able to draw plans out. And I tried to print them from uh, the program and really none of them really print them much to scale. They, they get you close, but that's about it. So I thought, well, they plot to scale. And so I put a pen in there and I'll let it print off my plans that way. So we'll see how this works. And uh, when it gets done, I'll come back to it. And there's the fire getting made out. Pretty soon it's going to be down here, put grin down here at the bottom. Starting on the grin. I made that one yesterday and uh, it works fine. I had a little trouble with the height of it where I was uh, getting, you know, I was jamming my uh, end of my reach Z and uh, so I, I changed it. But all that has in that is just a hearing protector, a little foam thing that's been soaked in a little Dawn soap, dishwashing soap. And uh, this thing is making my logo for FCF. That's my totem. It's uh, just green. It's kind of like a smiley face thing. And uh, it's been said about me that if if I'm grinning at you, you really don't know what I'm thinking because I can grin at you and be happy and I can grin at you and be mad at you. So anyway, but I'm always got a grin on my face. So. Somebody that I really respected called me Grin, so that name just kind of stuck with me. He called me Grin, and uh, so that's my FCF name. But anyway, this thing's working perfect. Um, that graphic can be as small as an eighth of an inch, or as huge as, as I want it to be, as, you know, that's as long as my table will fit. So... There it is, about to finish up. I could tell that to, you know, hatch fill that. But uh, if I wanted it colored, but that would use up all my Sharpie. So. And I can put different color pins in there and go with that. So there we go. She's done. That took 10 minutes to carve that or to draw that. I thought Tool did a good job, and uh, there it is. 
brought it inside because that piece of plywood is warping out there in the garage and it's one of my wasteboards so I want it flat so I brought it inside to lay it on the floor in the house to see if I can get it to lay flat again but there's my drawing tool and I drew that on the CNC machine it's 25 inches around there or 24 inches around there and that grin is my totem I was going to show you a little bit about uh, your uh, post processor processor management I just recently added a a CNC etch file to the um, uh, you know to the program basically all I did is just right clicked on there open file location and this puts it in the program data vector vcar pro m5 my post processor so if you just want the three of them you put those in that directory and away you go um, I just edited this file it was just a copy from the the latest uh, inch um, uh, file but uh, this one I took the router power and turned it off and basically I'm just opening that up with a notepad file it's just a text file and basically this is where I sh show that I commented that I turned off the router power for the etching mode and then I re renamed this word etch if you don't rename this right here type in there and change that from CNC inch to CNC etch and put that in this file the the database it will not change it in the program and then down here a little bit later i also put in these commands for um, changing this the commands after the header was when the switch spindle is on i changed and i commented it with a little plus signs but i changed m3 to m5 so right here i changed this from m3 to m5 which that turns the router power off and then uh this delay right here this go4 that's just the delay it was six seconds so that whenever it just turned on it didn't do anything for six seconds so i just turned that to zero so it would, it would immediately go to it and um, then i just save the file and uh, you know just do a save and you save it in that same folder and then uh, when it comes time to importing that you'll go in here and, and you'll add this to it and it'll click up there and then Another thing is it doesn't show up in here until after you've exited the program and then loaded it back up and then it will show up in there and then it'll be available in your post processor file. So I'll just let's just playing around with uh, this file, creating this for the for the uh, etching quick grave, quick engrave, which is this one right here. And this basically I'll just engrave this is a 25 by 25. And this is just a quick graving tool for like a drag knife or for a, uh, um, you know, a pin plotter. And so this basically sets the power for that. And then I also, this is where your processors show up. And I just added the, this etch in here so that when I'm using that, and all it does is just keeps the router power to turn off. Sure, you can hit the switch, but uh, if you're thinking about it, it's the same with the laser. Um, uh, if you use that one, then your laser will be operating while you use that. But anyway, this works good, and uh, I've tested it, and it works fine. I just got through uh, drawing this out on a 25-inch uh, piece of plywood. So uh, it came out just perfect, and that's that. And I'm just uh, glad to share that with you.